Okay, I'm working out the kinks in this Honda. It's been uh, rigged. This blade should be not right equal to the edge there, right? That blade should be there, not there. I have an adapter, but it's not for this blade. So I think this blade and this adapter has been taken from another machine or bought at a you know, one of those hardware stores that we all use. So I'm just going to, I'm having a hard time getting it off of there. So I'm just going to use my slide hammer, maybe, 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 baby. I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's lower this down for some stability. Yeah. We'll put it right back here. I might have to go to the other side. I warmed it up a little bit too, eh? Gear puller, I guess. Now, how do I do a gear puller? I think I can. Or able. I thought that slide hammer would work. Now, this bolt doesn't have a dent in it, so we're going to have to use all of our wits here. Okay, and I know it's a 5/8. I'll just grab a 5/8 wrench, and we'll see how that starts from there. can watch from that direction I think. Let me know when your battery gets dead. <clears throat> I know I use this beautiful screwdriver for doing horrible things. Ooh, that's really on there, man. Am I causing myself a negative? No, this bolt is in the shaft of the engine and this blade adapter is being pulled this way by the puller, so we should be good now. Okay, I'm just going to give it a Just direct the, direct the shaft on the end of that. Why won't that come? Bigger stick. I tell you, on these jobs, you gotta, you gotta use all your, all your noodles. Eleven sixteenths. That's not gonna cut the mustard. Yes, I have one on the... I might have to clean the end of that up after, right? Okay. Is it coming? I couldn't tell you. hitting the end of that thing, eh? Right there, I see it.
That should be coming off of there by now, guys. You know what? Unless, unless it's just jammed in there so hard. We've all had trouble with this. So when I, when I get it, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'll show you what I found. Update. So I was pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. Nothing was changing. But what happened was this pulley separated from the main shaft support. So there's the engine support. Uh, nope. There's the engine support. There's the shaft for the blade adapter. And then the pulley is moving towards the clamp. So now I have set up a, a single or a, a two-leg pulley instead of a three-leg pulley so I can grab onto the blade adapter itself. Okay. I, uh, oh, I sharpened my the end of my puller and I put a small dent with a drill, quarter inch drill, into this into this bolt. So now they're really, and then I'm using this instead of my screwdriver, which is giving the bolt kind of a path to fall. Okay, I'll start that again. Uh, I sharpened, the, not sharpened, but I put a point on the puller. And then I drilled a quarter inch groove into the bolt. Wasn't easy with my drill bit, just I'm not on the drill press. And then I'm using this groove for the bolt to travel in. And we'll see if we got it. And this keeps it from wandering a little bit too, right? Holy moly, guys. Look right there. It's bowing like that. Do you think I'm going to have to cut this damn thing off of there? So what I think happened was, this was a rig. This whole mower has been rigged. And when the guy told me, I hope he doesn't watch this, he told me he was a farm boy. I'm finding all kinds of stuff wrong with this thing that shouldn't be wrong. Like this, this door I put on that barely fits. The blade wasn't reaching the ground, wasn't reaching into the hood of the deck, so there was no no breeze, like no wind, for the grass to go out to shoot. Uh, what else did I have wrong with this guy? The handle was broken, uh, so he's a rammy dude. Now I'm going to heat this up. Should do it, my friend. You guys from EP Performance know none of this stuff is easy, right? I think it's coming. I'm going to use a felt pen to mark on the shaft of the engine. You don't want to heat this up too much either because you've got that seal on the bottom of the sump, right? Is that going to tell me? There it will. Okay. So this whole machine was off. It ran, but it was off. I got a new carburetor on, an old new carburetor on it today. Bending or coming? Bending. Dirty God. <sighs> I thought I had it, man.
What the heck? I do not want to cut that off because cutting them off is really, really hard to do. I have got a lot of hours into this machine. My wife says, you got, you got a deuce. It's not going to come, it's going to twink. Watch your eyes. For you guys that are really good at geometry, and all the math I've taken in high school and school and calculus and all that stuff, I have, I have struggled with space relation my whole life. Probably because I'm left-handed right now. Okay, let's get this off. That interesting. <laughs> okay, just take a break. Oh, all right, my friends, this is crazy. So I put the triple jaw back on, and I pulled this pulley, the sheave, whatever you want to call it, all the way from here back to here so that it would hit here because this was bending. Now I'm going to see if I can pull it in three spots and pull that blade adapter off. This kind of stuff happens in real life. By the time we get to this point, guys without tools, if they had an angle grinder, pardon me, if they had an angle grinder, they'd be angle grinders. So I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to heat that sheave up a little bit more again. Bottle, bottle, bottle. Where's the bottle? Then i got to go in and get myself some lunch. No, I don't have lunch brought to me today. the shaft on the engine to keep it cool. start a fire. Now let's just see what we got. And you can tell I'm using the uh, impact instead of my arms. It's coming baby! Where's a little bit of light for my friend? Look, there's our line in the uh, with the felt pen, right? Yeah, yeah, sir! So this kind of stuff, physically doing it isn't fun, but it's fun when you get it. And we're just going to keep using this son of a gun until we get her off, yeah. Huh? Oh, that's just, if I could get you guys to have a look at that. That is the most fun I've had in a while. Right there. Can you see it? Right there. I hope you guys can get a good look at that. Now. Unfortunately for me, I gotta back that bolt out a bit. And it's a 5 8 as well. Right along. Well, let's just see.
you got to have at least a half an inch of thread in there. Okay. That's nuts. Oh, so my theory worked. So this is a fantastic puller. I don't know where I got it. Oh, I remember where I bought it. I don't want to tell you. It was not at a high-end place. But it is, in my mind, a high-end puller. It's paid for itself. Like when you're wondering if you should go out and buy something like this, uh, I wouldn't hesitate. Now with this one, it's got the third arm, right? So you can make it into a two-jaw puller instead of a three-jaw puller, right there. So let's go again and see if we can get this crazy bugger off of here. Do you think it was the soap or the cold water on the shaft? Didn't come all the way. <laughs> oh, God. It might tap off now. No, it's going to fight me all the way. I don't believe it. However, you guys re might remember how wood coats set. So here we go. I got another half inch of pull here, and then we have to then we have to change our our tactics a little bit. I got to get a long piece. Oh man, that should do it, eh? Like, how much more do we come off? Okay, there we are. Locked. Locked. And locked, and we just have to. Uh, this is not as, as easy as it looks, you guys. We should change to the impact socket, though, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should. So the guy put the wrong blade adapter on there. If it doesn't come off now, I don't know what to say. Ah, ah. Got to ah. ah. <laughs> ah. Hey, we got we got a tool. Mick, you love this. pin again. Holy moly. So my doctor says get 20 minutes of activity a day. Holy smokes over. adapter that fits that, you know, huh? Whew! I'm just going to stick this guy on there. I wonder. I'm using my weaker arm here. find a longer bolt. Dirty dog. Yet. And if you guys if you guys find it like there's an easier method like just put the bolt in with two washers and tighten it up you know something like that tell me. Okay long bolt. So I can pull it another half inch. But this one hasn't been drilled, eh? See this one, if I drilled a nice a nice cup into it. I'm gonna that's a keeper, that's now a tool. So 
but it isn't that stiff, right? So we should be able to tighten our guy up here. As soon as I get this baby off, I'm going to find out I don't have a 7 8 blade adapter. slow with the ratchet because the air tool is just too racket or random. fairly interesting, eh? Let's go up a little bit. Change the angle of attack. It's not really yanking that hard on I hope you saw that. And there she bo there she goes. Oh. Now I can measure up and see if I can find a new one. Thanks guys, that was crazy. All right, my friends, I got some uh, anti C's on the shaft. That should have been on there. Yeah, I wouldn't have had to do that. And I got some anti C's inside here. This this one is about that much less thick. How do I put that? Let's see if we can line them up by the tops of the nubs. Because everything's bent, eh? Yes, sir, Bob. This one's about four millimeters shorter than the other one. This is the right one. Another thing I have to check, because it's metric, is the opening here. Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's 2.52, and this is 2.49. That should work. I got another one here. Oh, this one's for a different model altogether. This one's 2.2, that's 3 quarters. And this one is, yeah, this is going to be fine. This is going to work, I think. No, I might have to change the belt on this one, eh? Now, we've got to get a different blade. But, now we're going to just take the clamp, close this clamp, Let's see if that tightens the belt up enough. No, it doesn't. See that? Okay. Put that. I bet you he changed out the belt too, eh? Wouldn't be a bit surprised. Got a little more work to do, guys. But we'll get her. The next time you see this, we'll have a shorter belt. We'll have a blade on this adapter. And uh, we'll, uh, we should be running with a better draft because our, our 
bends on the blade, oh, those are worn right off. The bends on the blade will be up here. Okay, be back in a bit. All right, my friend. I think we got it. Oh, there's one bolt left. Where'd that come from? We got one there, 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 one there. Is there one in the center? Hmm. Oh, I forgot to put the hood on. But that's okay, we can do that after. I think there was one, yes, there's one in the center right there. Good. Now I'm gonna start it up. And it's been sitting on its on its it's been sitting on its legs, its back leg for a long time, right? So this could be kind of surprising. The front's too low. I like to run them about there. That's a little low for me, but that'll work. The first thing we gotta do is choke it. It's gonna be flooded bad, right? This is this is all all a mystery because I don't know how good that belt is, how tight that belt should be. First initial test sounds good. So now we're going to do a walk in the garage. And I don't have any long grass on the side to cut because this one needs to go through a load like it has never, it has never operated under a full load before. 